one of the things that uh, people struggle with when they uh, want to buy solar is to understand uh, kilowatt peak, kilowatt hours, kilowatt. What are these things and is there any difference? And if there is, what is the difference? I have several videos where I explain that. In this video, I will do it in a different way. Compare it to a car because everybody knows that a car has horsepower. It has a gas tank. And how does that, um, you know, if we compare to solar, how can we talk about these things? Well, the inverter has determines the speed. So that is the same as the horsepower of a car. If your inverter is small, that means you can use uh, very little electricity from the solar, meaning you have low horsepower. Okay. Then the batteries, if you have a lot of batteries, that's like your gas tank. Same. So if you have a lot of batteries, you can drive a long time. But, but uh, both horsepower and uh, the gas tank, they are obviously, you know, de depending and interacting. Because if you go fast, meaning use a lot of power, then your batteries will be empty uh, faster, of course. So, and it's the same with, um, uh, you know, it's the same with the car and with solar, exactly the same. Um, so with the solar inverter, if you have high horsepower, that, that is really good. But you, then you need a lot of batteries. And if you don't have a lot of batteries, then you are going to be empty very fast if you go, go with a high speed, meaning using a lot of electricity with the solar. So they interact in that way. So the um, concepts that we use for these different things, you have kilowatt inverter power. This is a 20 kilowatt uh, inverter. So that's the speed of this system is 20 kilowatt. That's the most that the inverter can put out after converting it to AC electricity. That's the speed. And then kilowatt hours is how we measure the gas of the system, so to speak. So the H in the kilowatt hour that uh, signifies that we are talking about energy over time. Usually when we talk about instant power, we use the word power. When we talk about energy over time, we say energy. So kilowatt hours is energy, kilowatt is power. So we have power and energy. So. And then if we talk about the roof and we normally when we talk about uh, power on the roof, we use the term kilowatt peak. That is just a, a concept that um, explains the peak power of, uh, of the total uh, wattage that you have on the roof. So let's say that you have 10 kilowatt peak. That means that let's say you have 20 500 uh, pan 500 watt panels that will be 10 kilowatt peak doesn't mean they will produce 10 kilowatt it just means that that's the nomination that is the labeling and that is a peak value so you will never get 500 watt out of a 500 panel cannot happen because you have uh, loss in cables and loss in the inverter and things like that it doesn't it's not a scam it's not a, anything like that it's just when we label pan not me but the manufacturers of the panels label the val the power value they have to use some kind of value and there's not really any average value to put on because the average of what so you have to label it with a peak value. So it's not a scam, it's just that uh, it's a naming convention. And when we work in the solar industry, we have to explain these things to the customer. That uh, kilowatt peak is very different from kilowatt and kilowatt hour. So these three concepts you, you really should understand if you want to have a... You, you can have a system and not understand it. It's possible. It's just difficult 
to to get the system right and to understand what's going in the app or what's going on in the app and things like that because that's where they use these concepts so so if you want to understand uh, what's going on you have to understand these concepts and load and especially with battery systems obviously this is really important but even without battery system even without batteries on your system you have to understand like how much energy is the system producing throughout the day and the difference between rainy days and sunny days and but then you don't have to the knowledge doesn't have to go as deep as with the batteries and of course when you get the battery system we help you understand these things and over time it's actually not that hard it's just that in the beginning it's hard because it's new so um yeah that's that's the main conclusion that it, it really is not a big deal to understand it it just takes a little bit of time but all appliances have these concepts attached to them uh, when we talk about for example air condition uh, when we talk about kilowatt hours that's the energy that the air condition is using over time and then only kilowatt which would be the use that it's using in a specific time that would be the same as the speed uh, if it's using 3000 watts that means it's a very big air condition that unless it's like a an ancient model that means it's producing a lot of uh, you know cold uh, air you know so that that would be the speed same as with the solar while when we talk about how much it's using over time that would be the gas tank um, and in this this case obviously the gas is coming from the solar in most cases so but we we can say how much kilowatt hour does an air conditioner use over 12 hours that's how we determine you know how much energy that you need from the solar and what kind of appliances that you have and is your appliance old so that you should change it well if you want to know that you need to know the number of kilowatt hours that it is using compared to you know the utility of the appliance so you need to know these concepts to be able to judge uh, these things now at the end how is kilowatt peak related to to these things to the car well kilowatt peak on the roof would be the same as a oil distillery or something like a gas manufacturer uh, bringing uh, gas to the car like a petrol station and that chain there um, because the energy from the panels is coming down into the is feeding the inverter with energy so and stored in the batteries so it would be like the gas station Okie doke, that's it guys. Hope you like that metaphor with the car. So, hope that makes sense.